Senate for emerging triumphant in the just concluded general elections after bruising political contest. Your election to the high office of senator Aye. of your various Aye. counties Watt, and constituencies having been is elected, a demonstration a of the faith of and Assembly, confidence do so that the electorate the have in your, capa in your capabilities to serve. And and I will obey. Respect, Today, uphold, you're invited serve, to grapple and with the challenges the and work system. towards meeting the highest. And I will faithfully and consciously discharge the duties of a member of parliament. So help me God. Thank you very much. Mimi Gideon Kipkoech Kimayo nikiwa nimechaguliwa kama mwanachama wa bunge la kitaifa na hapa kwa jina la Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba nda kuwa mwaminifu na mtiifu kwa watu wa Jamhuri ya Kenya kwamba nda ti nda heshimu nda tetea nda tunsa nda hifadhi na kulinda katiba ya Jamhuri ya Kenya na kwamba nda yatekeleza majukumu yangu ya bunge kwa uamunifu na uangalifu. Ewe Mwenyezi Mungu nisaidie. Yakub Ado Kuno Kururia Elijah and four members of the county assemblies They bring with them in invaluable experience that will enrich the house. We are also fortunate to have a diverse blend of professionals joining the Senate, including top legal minds, no less than senior counsel, scholars, doctors, renowned members of the civil society, among others. Let me also take this opportunity to acknowledge the contributions of senators from the Third Senate, who did not return, including the eight members of the Third Senate who are elected as governors. I'm confident that they will continue to serve Kenyans in the different capacities. Kenyans from all walks of life deserve a pat on the back for demonstrating to the entire world that we have a mature and vibrant democracy following the peaceful general elections held on the 9th of August 2000, 2022 and the subsequent petition filed and concluded at the Supreme Court. Distinguished Senators, permit me at this juncture to pay my singular special tribute to my immediate predecessor, the Right Honorable Kenneth Makelo Lusaka, EGH, who, has recently, who, has, who was recently elected as the Governor of Bungoma County. He ably presided over the Third Senate in perhaps one of the most challenging periods in our country's history. Historically, the first Senate was established in 1963 and functioned until 1966 when it was dissolved and merged with the House of Representatives to form the National Assembly. The first Senate under the 2020, 2010 Constitution was inaugurated on the 28th of March 2013, primarily to oversee the implementation of the devolved systems of governance. Honorable Senators, it is worth mentioning that at the onset of devolution, Senate was sailing in uncharted waters. None of the political leadership and pioneer senators had a clear idea what the task ahead entailed. As Speaker Lusaka noted on the 31st of August 2017, they had to learn how to swim by swimming. It was largely trial and error at first. The Senate of the 12th Parliament, to a great measure, played an instrumental role in improving the legislative regime, work systems, and coherence of key processes that have gradually bolstered devolution implementation. My predecessors and the leadership teams, guided by unit of purpose 
and the will to actualize devolution initiated work systems, spearheaded a series of retreats, workshops, and seminars that rapidly crafted the framework of transiting and admin, administ, uh, administering Senate in the 11th and the 12th parliaments. As the renowned American writer and political commentator Walter Lippmann wrote, and I quote, the final test of a leader is that he leaves behind in other men and women for that matter, the conviction that the will to carry on. We salute both the right Honorable Ekwe Ethuro and the right Honorable Kenneth Lusaka and their leadership teams for their remarkable contributions. The fourth Senate must now build on the decade of institutional maturity. Permit me, honorable senators, to also appreciate and allow the clerk of the Senate, Mr. Jeremiah Nyagenye, and his team for the unwavering and steadfast support and for making the appropriate preparations for this momentous occasion. Honorable senators, devolution as a novel development model was meant to ensure balanced, equitable and just development in all regions of Kenya. I can submit without fear of contradiction that so far it is working. I welcome and associate myself with the positive spirit exhibited and pronouncements made by the newly elected governors to change their strategy of engagement and work more closely with the Senate, the National Assembly and the national government. In addition, the pledge and commitment currently being witnessed to, intensi to intensify the fight against corruption in the respective governments is highly commendable. Kenyans are looking forward to a new dawn and expect senators to aggressively defend devolution and count governments better. We must ensure devolution works for the people and more accountab accountability is therefore exercised. Distinguished senators, the critical question is, what, next, what is next for the fourth Senate? How do we build on the achievements of the first, second, and third Senates? Fundamentally, the Senate must continue to play its constitutional mandate and role more vigorously. Just to reiterate and remind ourselves on senators, the primary mandate of the Senate is to represent the counties and their governments and protect the interests of the counties and hence successfully implement devolution. The Senate is involved in lawmaking by considering, debating, and approving bills concerning counties, determines the allocation of revenue among counties, exercises oversight over, na of, over the national revenue allocated to, to the counties, and participates in the oversight of state officers by considering and determining any resolution to remove the president or deputy president. Distinguished senators, the Senate is the bastion of devolution. Devolution has been a game changer and, and has significant, uh, significantly transformed our country. The county governments are currently receiving billions of shillings, courtesy of the Senate's intervention, to finance various development programs and provide essential services that are aimed at improving the well-being and welfare of the Kenyan people. Massive infra infrastructural projects have been built throughout the country, including roads, educational and healthy facilities, as well as, as, well as housing projects. In addition, local entrepreneurs, youth and women, have greatly benefited in terms of securing businesses and employment opportunities. Distinguished senators, since 2013, without doubt, devolution has dramatically altered the political and socio-economic fabric of our country. Kenyans are currently reeling and, and undergoing tough economic times. The Senate is duty bound to be more sensitive to the dictates and aspirations of ordinary Mwananchi. Going forward, honorable senators, with the rich blend of its membership, it is incumbent upon the fourth Senate to play its due constitutional role and ensure that national and county governments deliver on their mandate to improve or lighten the burden of our people. We hence cannot rest on our role, on our, on our role, on our role as 
we must build on the foundation already created. Achievement bed and strive to make devolution work more effectively and better. We must initiate and enact more devolution compliant legislation and bills since our predecessors have already identified a number of gray areas uh, in our devolved systems of governance. We will adopt a proactive approach in our pursuit to make uh, the Senate an effective governance institution to Kenyans and let Senate be the sanctuary in times of distress. I urge and encourage Kenyans to make the Senate their beacon of severity and hope. The first Senate will strive to reach out and harmoniously work with the National Assembly. Hitherto, supremacy wars witnessed in the past between the two houses have tended to ferment unnecessary acrimony and grandstanding, which adversely impacted on the legislative outputs. I call upon and encourage honorable senators here to address emerging contentious legislative challenges and resolve them within stipulated mediation frameworks while ad adopting uh, collegiate approaches, noting that these processes are intended to serve the best interest of the people. That is how tangible and progressive milestones will be realized by our bicameral parliament. Distinguished senators, I also wish to urge honorable senators to adopt and nurture bipartisan and collegiate leadership approaches that will transform and invigorate the Senate to embrace the various political shades and interests represented in the 13th Parliament and ensure they find the rightful place. Under the new Senate leadership, we will endeavor and ensure to do the following. One, the Senate work strategy will be reviewed as appropriate to enable senators perform their constitutional and leadership responsibilities through systems that are pre uh, predictable and adequately facilitated to enable them deliver effectively and quality services. Two, dynamic and innovative, uh, innovative programs and activities of the Senate guided by the need to respond to key priorities of the counties shall be initiated to respond to identified challenges. The Senate will continually bolster and strengthen internal collaborative linkages, deepen existing partnerships and engagement between the Senate, national and county government departments and agencies, regional and, and international development partners, as well as state, as well as non-state actors to work closely and harmoniously with the evolution family. Learning and leadership are indispensable to each other. We will ensure continuous capacity development and empowerment of senators and their secretariats so that they can const, uh, constantly update their skills and expertise and ensure they acquire requisite parliamentary exposure to enable them handle complex and new uh, frontiers of legislative and public affairs. The Senate will endeavor to be responsive to emerg uh, emergent situations and reignite the manner in which traditional legislative services and relations with our various stakeholders and counties are offered. Honorable Senators, elections come and go. We have concluded the electoral phase and must now proceed to the critical transitional and development phases after the, uh, after the delicate ballet dance of politics. We have to overcome and begin to heal from our challenges born out of these divisive political alignments. I urge and call upon our people to refocus, embrace unity, and move forward. No Kenyan should feel left out. It is now time to put behind, behind us political rivalries, roll out our sleeves, and together focus on building the new Kenya that we all desire. Distinguished senators, Kenyans expect from us nothing short of servant, responsive, and effective leadership. Let us aspire to be, the to be forthright in the performance of our legislative functions, especially in undertaking oversight rules, so that the citizenry can build trust, find refuge, and solace in the Senate of the Republic of Kenya. We should neither entertain nor accept any discourse that will divide or polarize 
Kenyans. Honorable Senators, as I conclude, I wish to undertake that under my stewardship, my commitment to you, Honorable Senators, and the people we represent, is to be a faithful and impartial servant, ready to discharge my diverse roles and responsibilities with due diligence and in accordance with the Constitution of Kenya and Senate standing orders. Finally, to call the former United States President, John F. Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what? Ask what you can do for your country. We have a collective, solemn, and patriotic duty and responsibility to rally fellow leaders and Kenyans to put the interests of our country first and move it to the next level of development and, pro and prosperity. On my part, I shall respect and uphold the rule of law, legality, and nurture the culture of constitutionalism. And I shall protect, defend the constitution of the Republic of Kenya, and always safeguard the mandate and role of the Senate. Honorable Senators, I welcome you all to join me as we embark on this journey together. I thank you. May God bless this Senate, and may God bless our country. Thank you so much. Next order, please. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order. We do after the vote. Huh? Yes, the Senator of Kakamega. What's your point of order? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, you'll pardon me. I wanted to make uh, a small acknowledgement for what has just happened, but we have agreed collectively that it can wait until after the second order of electing the Deputy Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very well, uh, the same. proceed to detail each, each of such activity and the manner in which we have complied with the standing orders. Firstly, standing order number five, one, requires upon the president notifying the place and date for the first sitting of the new Senate pursuant to Article 126.2 of the Constitution. The clerk shall by notice in the Gazette notify that fact and invite interested persons to submit the nomination papers for election to the office of the Deputy Speaker. Vide Gazette Notice number 10532, dated 5th of September 2022, and an advertisement in the Daily Nation and the Standard Newspapers of 6th September 2022, the Clerk of the Senate invited persons to submit their nomination papers for election to the office of Deputy Speaker of the Senate. Secondly, standing order number 54 requires that the clerk shall maintain a register in which uh, shall be shown the date and time when each candidate's nomination papers were received and shall ascertain that every such candidate for election to the office of deputy speaker is qualified to be elected as such under Article 106 of the Constitution. Honorable uh, Senators, for the position of deputy of the Senate, the following candidates were validly nominated as at the close of the nomination period. One, Mazayo Stewart Shadrach Mochiro, an identification number 1059777. Two,
to Murungi Kathuri. Identification number 11544617. Standing order number 61, as read together with standing order 134, provides that the election of the deputy speaker shall be by sacred ballot. I now direct Honorable Senators, pursuant to standing order number eight, a candidate may, by written notice to the clerk, withdraw his or her candidature before ballot is started. In this regard, I wish to draw the attention of the Honorable Senators that this morning, by a letter dated 8th September 2022 and addressed to the clerk of the Senate, Senator Mazayo Stewart Shadrach Mochiru, withdrew his candidature for the position of Deputy Speaker of the Senate. Honorable Senators, Senator Mazayo Stewart Shadrach Machiru, having withdrawn his candidature for the position of Deputy Speaker of the Senate, we now have only one duly nominated candidate for the position of the Deputy Speaker of the Senate. Standing order number 11, as read together with standing order number 13-4, provides that if there is only one candidate who has been duly nominated for election as deputy speaker at the expiry of the nomination period, that candidate shall be declared forthwith to have been elected deputy speaker without any ballot or vote being required. Consequently, consequently, pursuant to the provisions of standing order number 11, as read together with standing order number 13-4, are hereby forthwith declare Senator Murungi Kathuri to be duly elected as the Deputy Speaker of the Senate. I shall now proceed to administer the oath of affirmation of office on the Deputy Speaker. Mimi Murungi Kaduri nikiwa nimechaguliwa kama naibu speaker wa seneti na hapa kwa jina la Mwenyezi Mungu kwamba nitakuwa mwaminifu kwa watu na jamhuri ya Kenya kwamba nitatekeleza kwa uaminifu na uangalifu kazi yangu kama naibu speaker wa seneti kwamba nitatii nitaheshimu nitahifadhi nitalinda na nitaitetea hii katiba ya jamhuri ya Kenya na kwamba nitatenda haki kwa watu wote kulingana na katiba ya Kenya na sheria na desturi za bunge bila uoga au upendeleo upendo au chuki Ewe Mwenyezi Mungu nisaidie. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.
Order, order, uh, honorable senators. Uh, we have uh, prepared for you a reception at the courtyard. So after we rise, we expect all the senators to come for the reception. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Yes, the Senator for Kakamega, please. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, this is a very important day. We are actually writing, writing the history of this nation. And therefore, I request that you allow us uh, at least one and a half minutes, those who wish to congratulate you, to do so. And if you so permit, allow me, Mr. Speaker, to congratulate you for winning this position. Mr. Speaker, my colleagues here have voted for you, maybe because of the good campaign you did. You recall what we went through. But myself, I voted you for that and two more reasons. The first one, Mr. Speaker, is that I know that you believe in Parliament. You believe in the power of legislation. And how do I know, Mr. Speaker? Mr. Speaker, when you were the governor of Kilifi, and I was the chairman of the Senate Public Accounts and Investment Committee, Mr. Speaker, I visited your county and visited many other counties. And you are the first governor to build a debating chamber, modern chamber for MCS. I saw that as a commitment to a leader who believes in the role of lawmaking. For this, I voted for you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, also, you touched me. I, I believe in family, and the beginning of family is children. Again, when I visited your county, I saw the, count, the kind of infrastructure that you had put in place for early childhood development in education, and I thought, you are truly a leader. I congratulate you, and at the same time, I also want to remember the clerk. The clerk has led us very well this morning. There were futile attempts to scuttle this process, but we have succeeded. And because I said history was being made, there was another form of history that was made this morning, Mr. Speaker, that some of your opponents who are actually going to challenge you had one of them, he collected papers, both to run for Senate and run for the National Assembly, which was very well. Then he announced that he was going to run, Mr. Speaker, to be the Speaker of the National Assembly. Then he changed his mind and said he was going to run for the position of Speaker of the Senate. Mr. Speaker, uh, Honorable uh, but I'm on a point of order. Senator for Kakamega, uh, please uh, confine yourself to the congratulatory uh, message you want to deliver. Uh, yes. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I was building, I was, I was building my congratulations, but because uh, my my brother Justice thinks that he knows where I'm going, I'll allow him that latitude. But at the end of the day, conclude by saying, Kenyans, we must take institutions seriously. If indeed we are taking institutions seriously, the merry-go-round, the go-round that we have seen this morning was not necessary. Is every minute spent here is so on the other side that please, let us give this institution the seriousness it deserves. And I believe, Mr. Speaker, when I scan around, you will allow me to brag a little bit that I know you very well. Mr. Speaker, you recall in, in those difficult days when you came to Parliament as a very young professional, I welcomed you to Parliament. At that time, you were very handsome, but you have become even more handsome, Mr. Speaker. 
<laughs> Mr. Speaker, I am confident that because you have become older, you are wiser, let us lead this Republic of Kenya so that devolution works. We don't want to demand that we are the senior house. We want to prove that we are the senior house by teaching the lower house how jobs are done in Parliament. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Honorable Senators, uh, let us take at least a minute so that we give time to others who would wish, or oh, two minutes, at least two minutes, so that we can have as many uh, as possible to also deliver the amendment. On this other side, uh, the Senator for Kilifi County. Asante, Bwana Speaker. Bwana Speaker, kitu cha kwanza nataka kutoa kongole kwako kwa ushindi wako katika kura ya Senate, kuwa Speaker wa Senate. Najua hii ni safari ndefu sana. Na najua mengi yanatarajiwa kutoka kwako kama Speaker wa bunge hili la Senate. Bwana Speaker vile vile nataka kuwapatia kongole hawa ndugu zangu wamesimama na wewe najua ni upande ule kina Murkomen uh, ndugu yangu Aaron Cheriot niko na mdogo wangu Cheral Gay na wengine wote hawa wamesimama na wewe vizuri mpaka ukapata ushindi ushindi huu si wako ushindi huu ni wa Kenya wote kiti kiti unachoketia hivi sasa ni kiti ambacho kinatazamwa na wakenya wote ya kwamba katika utenda kazi wako kama speaker wa bunge la senate utaweza kuona ya kwamba kutakuwa na upinzani na wale walio wengi ambao ni serikali kwa hiyo najua na imani vile ninavyokuelewa wewe tumetoka mbali sana tumezaliwa pamoja tumeishi pamoja tunatoka pamoja malpoti najua ya kwamba kazi unaiweza na utaifanya vilivyo kulinganishana na elimu ulionayo experience ulionayo na ujasiri pia ulionao cha mwisho ni kwamba sisi sote tulioko hapa nataka kuwapatia kongole pia hawa ndugu zangu wapya ambao wameingia wakati huu ndani ya senate ni safari ndefu najua tutakuwa tukikwaruzana lakini ninajua ya kwamba mnaelewa kwamba bunge hili la senate ni bunge ambalo ni bipartisan. Hakuna mambo ukifika hapa unasema kwamba uko chama hichi, uko chama hichi, sote tuko pamoja. Kwa hiyo na, nataka kupatia kongole kwa safari yako hii uliyoanza hivi leo. Asante sana. Senator Murkomen. Thank you. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, um, I know there will be an opportunity for us to say much thereafter when we resume back as a Senate. But I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and the Deputy Speaker, uh, Honorable Kaduri, for being elected as the Speaker and the Deputy Speaker, respectively. Mr. Speaker, this is a very momentous time in our history. For the first time, the Republic of Kenya has produced a Speaker of Parliament who comes from Coast Region. And Mr. Speaker, for the first time, we have an opportunity 
to demonstrate that the entire country, through the leadership of Kenya Kwanzaa team, has a face of Kenya, and a proper face of Kenya. I am a very proud member of Kenya Kwanzaa team on this side, Mr. Speaker, and speaking for the side that I belong to, I am among a team of senators here with Kinyua, with the Lekwe, Senator Chiriot, that Mr. Speaker were taunted for so many days in the last uh, parliament for almost three years. Every time a vote was taken here, and Chiriot is here also, we were always reminded that where are your numbers? I am so happy, Mr. Speaker, that our numbers have counted today. <laughs> I am also very happy, Mr. Speaker, that we have a new dawn in this republic with a new president, President William Samoy Ruto. And I'm really amazed I'm using the word president because it was not feasible in the eyes of men a few months ago. President William Samoy Ruto is a deep believer on matters devolution. Mr. Speaker, we've had a fight for a long time, Supremas battle for 10 years between this chamber and the lower house, Mr. Speaker. But with your election, and I believe the election of your brother in the other house, I don't want to preempt, I believe with sitting down with the president who believes in devolution and the Senate, we will end this supremacy battle. And the beginning of that ending, Mr. Speaker, is for both you and your brother in the National Assembly to sit down, instruct the lawyers who went to court in National Assembly and the Senate to record a consent, Mr. Speaker, on the operation of Article 110 of the Constitution on movement of bills from both houses of parliament. Mr. Speaker, you, if you allow me just one minute, because that's extremely important as a former leader in this house. Mr. Speaker, that will be, and in fact, because I am, I am privy to some conversation you have already had with the president and, and your brother who is garnering for position National Assembly. If that can be done by next week, it will be a quick win on matters of devolution and the stature of the House of Senate in this republic. Mr. Speaker, for far too long, this House has always prayed that they have a leadership that believes in strengthening devolution and protecting the functions of senators. There is a pending miscellaneous bill in this, uh, 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 Mr. Speaker, there is a pending, uh, Mr. Speaker, bill in this House, for both Houses that deals with oversight responsibilities of this House. Again, that is, will be a quick win that will make this Senate a strong Senate. If these things can be achieved in the next two, three weeks, we will have achieved, Mr. Speaker, something far much more than what we achieved in the last 10 years. Because 10 year, the last 10 years have been years of fighting, Mr. Speaker, for the strength and supremacies and, and the strengthening of this House, I believe, through you and with the Kenya Kwanzaa team and the leadership of President William Ruto, this house will bring back honor and will be a house of honor. The last thing, Mr. Speaker, 98% of the time in this house, both houses, we do things bipartisan. It is rare that we will disagree because devolution in El Geo Marakwet is devolution in Kilifi. And I believe that through your leadership and your negotiating skills, both as a lawyer and as a person who has led county for 10 years, you will lead this house to demonstrate nationalism and patriotism, Mr. Speaker, and to make sure that all the time we use consensus to agree on the things we are going to, to do in this house. You are the best choice. There is no accident. You've been elected by these men and women, but also God has permitted you to lead because it's the right time for you to lead this, this Senate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Soipan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, allow me to uh, take this opportunity to uh, give my hearty congratulations to yourself and uh, the Honorable uh, Kaduri, uh, who has been uh, duly elected as a Deputy Speaker of this House. Um, and I must say at the very onset that for me, uh, coming from across uh, from the other house today, and uh, I'm sure even Honorable Kaduri, is a 
a day when we are going through a Damascus moment. Um, because I just realized that indeed this is the upper house for the longest time that uh, we, I am serving my third term and so is Honorable Kaduri. So congratulations, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, I know and I believe as my vote went to you that uh, as a former two-term governor that uh, you are very best placed um, to take the business that is transacted in this house to the next level and also to afford the House of Senate and indeed matters devolution, the seriousness and the commitment that uh, the matters devolution deserve in this country. And uh, your election and that of the Deputy Speaker comes at an opportune time, Honorable Speaker, when we have a president who is fully committed, fully bought into supporting devolution in this country. I congratulate you, and as we go forward, uh, we shall have uh, many more things to say, and uh, you have our full support, and uh, together with your Deputy Speaker, to be able to uh, steer this house, and indeed Kenya, because this is a proud day for the people of the, the coast region, the people of Meru County, and indeed Kenyans. Uh, at large, because this is a moment where we shall witness the face of Kenya, of competent Kenyans, um, in the legislative uh, space of this country, and indeed in all other spheres of leadership. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Faki. Asante Mshima Speaker kwa kunipa fursa hii. Kwanza naachukua fursa hii kukupa kongole kwa kuchaguliwa kama speaker wa bunge la Senate. Vile vile pia naachukua fursa hii kumpa kongole eh, mheshimiwa naibu speaker mheshimiwa Kidhuri ambaye pia uh, uh, bunge lililokuisha tulikuwa tunamuita Kadhuri kama shinani because uh, alikuwa anacheza mpira winga na ni, ni mtatanashi sana mtanashati sana vile vile nichukue fursa hii kwa hapa Kongole maseneta wenzangu wote ambao wamechaguliwa katika bunge hili la 13 tuna kazi kubwa ya kufanya kwa hivyo tungeomba kwamba tushirikiane na tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja ili kupeleka mbele maslahi ya wakenya na wapiga kura wetu kwa jumla mheshimiwa speaker umechaguliwa wakati bunge la senate kama ulivyozungumza lina vita vya ubabe na bunge la kitaifa bunge la kitaifa linachukua fursa ya ukaribu na fikiri waliokuwa wako nayo na serikali inaondoka kuhakikisha kwamba zile miswada yote ambayo inapitishwa na bunge la senate inaendelea kukaliwa kule na kuna sheria nyingi ambazo tulipitisha na hatukuweza kuziona zikitumika kwa sababu zilikuwa zinakufa katika lile bunge la kitaifa. Kwa hivyo nafikiri kwa uzoefu wako na kazi zako nzuri tunaohakika kwamba swala hilo halitaweza kutokea katika bunge hili la 13. Vile vile mheshimiwa speaker nimekusikia ukigusia katika hotuba yako kwamba utahakikisha kwamba maseneta wamewezeshwa ili kuweza kufanya kazi zao za usimamizi. Mheshimiwa speaker hiyo ni shida kubwa ambayo tumekuwa nayo na vile vile pia tutaomba iweze kurekebishwa ili tuone kwamba kazi zetu zinafanyika na tunaona kwamba matunda ya devolution au matunda ya ugatuzi yanafikia wananchi katika nchi yetu ya Kenya. Mheshimiwa speaker pia si, bila kusahau ningependa pia kum, kumpa kongole Mheshimiwa Miraji ambaye Miraji ni e, mtoto wa dadangu na nimefurahi kwamba pia ameweza kuingia katika bunge la Senate 
na namuhakikishia kwamba tutaweza kumshika mkono katika bunge hili pamoja na wale wabunge wote wengine wageni ili tuhakikishe kwamba wanaweza kutekeleza majukumu yao bila ya matatizo na wanakuwa ni wa, wenye kusaidia bunge hili kuweza kufikia malengo yake asante mheshimiwa speaker kwa kunipa fursa hii senator of laikipia Uh, asante sana bwana speaker nataka kuchukua fursa hii kukupongeza na na tena nataka kuchukua fursa hii kumpa heko naibu wako mheshimiwa Gadhuri na mimi jambo ambalo ningependa tena kusema ni kuwapongeza maseneta wote waliochaguliwa na nimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kutupa fursa hii ya kuweza kufika katika seneti hii na hasa niwapongeze watu wa Laikipia hata vile walivyonipiga nipigia mimi kura na kampigia rais mheshimiwa William Samoei Arapruto. na asema asanti na asanti sana kwao bwana speaker mimi nataka kusema na kupongeza na nilikuwa nilipokuwa nikipiga kura yangu nilijiuliza maswali matatu na yote yalipata ndio kwa sababu jambo la kwanza nilitaka seneta aliyebombea katika kazi ya gatuzi zetu wewe nikajua ni moja uliyobombea kabisa swali so, la pili nilijiuliza ni ya kwamba ni seneta ambaye ataelewa mambo ya serikali kuu. Nikakumbuka vizuri dhahiri shahiri ya kwamba wewe ulikuwa waziri. Nikajua hapo tena umepata ndipo. Swali la tatu ambalo nilijiuliza ni mtu ni mtenda kazi. Tena vile ambavyo atachangia katika Kiswahili kwa sababu mimi napenda kuongea Kiswahili katika seneti yetu. Nikajiuliza yule ambaye seneta atafanya Kiswahili chetu Kiswahili kitukuke na alafu tuende katika upeo wa pili ama upeo wa juu zaidi ukapata ndio kwa hivyo sikuwa na shaka pangu rohoni ya kwamba senator as speaker tuliona yeye amebombea katika kazi yake na anajua mimi najua kwamba tuta, tuta kutoka kikao kikao hichi tukiwa sisi wote tumekubaliana na najua kwamba sisi sasa tukiwa hapa kasene, kama seneti tutatembea pamoja na seneti itakuwa Nimesikia mheshimiwa Seneta Soipana akisema ya kwamba hata yeye mwenyewe amekubali ya kwamba hili ndilo jumba kuu na jumba kuu litaendelea kufanya maswala ambayo inafanywa katika majumba makuu ya Jamhuri ya Kenya na hata dunia kwa jumla. Kwa hivyo mimi nataka kupongeza, ni sehemu ya asanti na nakutakia mema na mimi nataka kukuhakikishia kwamba nitakuunga mkono, nitaku, nitaunga mkono naibu wako mheshimiwa Kaduri ili seneti hii iendelee kufanya kazi yake. Na mheshimiwa speaker umesema ya kwamba utakuwa katika kipao cha mbele kujua ya kwamba pesa ambazo zitakazotumika kwa lugha ya kizungu anaita oversight fund. Uta, utatilia mkazo tuweze kuzipata ili tufanye kazi yetu kwa uadilifu na kwa sababu tumeapa tutafa, tutafanya kwa uaminifu mimi nasema nitakuwa katika kipao cha mbele kufanya kwa uaminifu na uangalifu na ewe Mwenyezi Mungu nisaidie Senator Ali Roba Thank you very much uh, Mr. Speaker and considering this is my maiden speech I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate you uh, together with uh, the deputy speaker that has been elected I also want to congratulate uh, the senators who have been sworn in just before the elections as well as appreciate our colleagues who are on the other side who supported uh, to vote you in together with the deputy Speaker, Mr. Speaker, having worked with you for the last 10 years in devolution as pioneer governors, uh, there has never been a better time to expect renewed uh, devolution support from the Senate. Uh, the senators have done very well, but with my colleague, uh, former governor, Governor Emeritus of Wasingishu, Mandago, myself, and you, as uh, a governor who has served two terms and with clear understanding of first-hand experience on devolution and Senate with its important role of supporting devolution. Mr. Speaker, sir, we have new hope that uh, devolution is going to really achieve uh, even better than what has happened before. I, I said sometimes back before in an informal meeting somewhere 
that the era of legislating for posterity will get a boost with you being elected uh, as the Speaker of the Senate. I want to take this opportunity to say congratulations. Look forward to strengthening devolution. Senator Sam. Taza, I will allow maybe four uh, before we rise. The, of course, there's going to be an opportunity for all of us to uh, uh, give your congratulatory messages. But for purposes of this session, allow me to give four senators. Uh, three from this side and, and, and one from this side. So, uh, the, the, the senator for Kilifi, I thought you've already made your... Uh, yeah, because I can see you're complaining a lot. Uh, we'll give two ladies, lady senators, and I'll start with uh, Senator Gloria. Mr. Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and to congratulate our deputy speaker as well. When I put in my vote for you and the deputy speaker, it is because I know that uh, being a newly nominated senator who's a woman, we are looking forward to a house where we can actually give meaningful contributions as nominated uh, senators and particularly as women. And uh, I don't have much to say today, but uh, to congratulate you and the deputy speaker and also to urge that my fellow nominated um, um, senators, particularly the women, that um, we must try to change the notion that nominated senators who are women cannot give meaningful contributions. And I really look forward to participating in this house. It is a notion. Thank you. Due to the demand uh, from members, we are going to uh, open it a bit further. We're going to be more uh, more generous. So I will allow uh, Senator Chirangay to take the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. From the onset, on behalf of myself and the great people of Nandi, I want to congratulate you plus your deputy. We wish you well. Mr. Speaker, sir, uh, I've worked with you before when I was the Senate Justice Legal Affairs in a party used to be called Jubilee in those days, you are also the chairperson of Council of Governors representing the, uh, the legal affairs. So I've worked with you and uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, it is an honor because when you used to serve as the chairperson of COG Legal, I used to serve as Senator uh, Legal under uh, one famous party called Jubilee. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, I know also uh, when you used to appear before CPI, where I was a member, you are a very good client, and uh, we have interacted on various sessions, and I'm happy that you are coming to the House with immense knowledge of devolution. Uh, in terms, you have been a legislator, you have been a cabinet minister, and I think, Mr. Speaker, sir, we look forward to working closely. Finally, Mr. Speaker, I agree with Senator Murkomen. I was the chair who drafted the pleadings, and he was our able majority leader, and I hope he remains so, where we work led by the former speaker from here to Milimani High Court, Mr. Speaker, because of 24 legislations that were non-concurrent uh, by the lower house, Mr. Speaker. I hope with the election of our brother, the lower house, and yourself, you can come uh, at a concurrent point so that we can proceed. Mr. Speaker, we wish you well. You have seen, and I want to thank our colleagues from this other side. Uh, you got 46 votes, which is far beyond and round one, and that was needed. And Mr. Speaker, let, let our colleagues come back to the House. This is not the time to resist. I want to appeal to our colleagues, wherever they are, let them come back. We need to build this nation through bottom-up, bottom Mr. Speaker, through our Apple President, uh, Dr. William Ruto, and the Kenya Kwanzaa. And I want to, to thank Senator, uh, your Senator, Stuart Mazzaio. At least he has stood firm, and he's happy that the city is coming back. I know it has been written in some 4 and 1 that as the Mio senators have joined Kenya Kwanzaa, there is no problem. The government is big, so let it be. So, Senator Kilifi, uh, Mazayo, you did the right thing. All the senators in Azimio who voted for you, they have done a fantastic job. And I want to agree with Senator Murkomen, now we have the numbers. 
Thank you very much, Speaker, and all the best. Thank you, Senator Okio Mtata. Mr. Speaker, I rise to thank you and congratulate you for your election and the election of your able deputy, who we had a chat yesterday, and also to congratulate <coughs> all senators who, are in, who have been elected to this house or nominated to this house. Mine is to wish you well and to pray that the Almighty God grants you the grace to steer this house, knowing that you are the speaker of the Senate of the Republic of Kenya, not a speaker of any faction. Secondly, I'll pray that when you settle down, you try to work for a balance of arms in the Parliamentary Service Commission. The Senate has been elbowed out, if you look at the composition and the functions that the Senate or members of the Senate should perform on the, in the Parliamentary Service Commission are not being performed. The National Assembly seems to have grabbed everything, so I'll be praying that going forward, that how the Parliamentary Service Commission should have proper representation from the Senate so that the issues of the Senate can be taken on board. Finally, uh, I thank you for the invitation you have given us to work as a team. And I'll pray that we'll be able to work as a team. I remained behind and voted, but since nobody voted against you, therefore it's obvious that I voted for you. But that does not mean that I joined Kenya Kwanzaa. I am a member of the National Reconstruction Alliance, and I will guard my autonomy jealously. I will vote on issues and on conviction. I will not be whipped to vote on anything. That's all, my. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Senator Cheptumo. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me start by first congratulating you for your election as our speaker. Mr. Speaker, in 2007, we were together with you in this very chamber during the Grand Coalition Government. And we served also with you in the cabinet Thereafter, you served two terms as a governor. You are a member of the legal profession. And I think I will be clear to say that this house is indeed lucky to have you as our speaker. Not because of any reason, Mr. Speaker, but because I know, and having um, had sessions to work with you, I am confident that this house will benefit from your experience and your leadership together with my colleague, uh, the Deputy Speaker, whom also I was with him in the National Assembly for two terms. Mr. Speaker, you are also coming on board at a very critical time of our country when we have a new government. Which government, Mr. Speaker, is clear as to how uh, you would like to drive this country forward. There will be a number of laws, uh, legislation to be passed by this House and the National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, with your directions and your leadership, I'm very certain that our President is going to uh, move this country forward because as a House, we are going to help him to ensure that the relevant laws to be passed will be passed. Mr. Speaker, I listened to your acceptance speech, and you assured the country and these members that you are going to ensure that devolution indeed thrives, because that is the way to go. I want to say that we are going to give you the support necessary 
Um, when I was in the other house, Mr. Speaker, I was I chaired the delegated legislation committee, and I think I need to share this here. And there were a number of areas where this house wanted to be facilitated in, so that it's able to perform, perform the functions. Mr. Speaker, with the new spirit of the, your, yourself and your brother from the other side agreeing to work together, I think the side shows these issues of competition as to which is the upper house, of course we know it is this one, and the lower house, shall be issues of the past. So that, Mr. Speaker, we pass laws, regulations, rules for posterity. And with the guidance of your leadership, Mr. Speaker, I believe this country will witness a very, very progressive uh, government, which is going to be led by William Samuel Ruto, a man that has come from Senator Mohamed Chute. Mr. Speaker, uh, let me take this opportunity to thank our almighty God for the opportunity that he gave us to serve our country. Secondly, uh, Mr. Speaker, I would want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and your able deputy for this uh, election. And I would want to congratulate my fellow senators, both appointed and elected, uh, for this opportunity. And thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Senator Miraj. Shukran bwana speaker na ningependa kukushukuru kwa kunipa fursa hii dhabia ili niweze kukupongeza kwenye nafasi hii uliyoipata na nimesimamisha mkono sana kwa sababu nilitaka wa Kenya wasikie ya kwamba sisi wa pwani ni watu wa aina gani sisi wa pwani ni watu wa karimu na serikali ya William Samoe Ruto pamoja na wajumbe wote waliokupigia kura ya kwamba hii serikali tuliyoiunda ni serikali ambayo hata wachache wenye tajriba na uwezo wa kutenda kazi watapata fursa ya kuongoza katika serikali ya William Ruto Mimi kama mtoto wa mama mboga ambapo ahadi zetu nyingi tulipokuwa katika kampeni zetu Tuliweza kusema kwamba kura ya safari hii itakuwa kura ya malengo na maono na sio ukabila. Na wapongeza ndugu zangu kina Murkomen ambao walikuwa na idadi ya kupigia mtu ambaye angetoka upande wa bara lakini wakatupa sisi wa pwani nafasi kwa sababu ndugu yetu kingi una uwezo na tajriba ya kulipeleka bunge hili. Kongole na nakukumbusha kwamba sisi wa pwani ni wastaarabu na watu wenye kuweka watu pamoja. Kwa hivyo Mwenyezi Mungu akuongoze na akuwezeshe uweze kuinua tena sura ya mpwani katika taifa la Kenya. Asante. Uh, Senator Gataya, I I'm doing this purposely because we need to balance regions. But uh, we'll give uh, each one of you an opportunity to say something. Uh, thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Uh, today is a big day for Kenyans because, Honorable Speaker, you and your umbrella, Kaduri Murongi, who happens to be my neighbor at home, you have been voted uh, overwhelmingly by almost every member who was in this house simply because people know you. I have been uh, an MC for 10 years, that is two terms. I've been following what we've been doing in Kirifi as a governor. I have seen you as a minister for East African community at one time. And I think 
this house has been the very right decision to make you the speaker of this house. I would also want to extend my congratulations to my brother, Kaduri Moronge. Kaduri Moronge, we commonly call him uh, Kaduri Kamashinani because Kaduri is my neighbor who anybody would describe as very sober, very humble, and I want to assure you that you get the maximum cooperation and assistance from Kaduri Moronge as your deputy. So much more speaker, we are so happy that uh, today you have brought that reflection that you are a true Kenyan who has invited votes across the country. So in this regard, as a house, we promise that we shall support you and give you the maximum support throughout the journey for the five years that we shall be here. Thank you very much. Senator of, of Trukana. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for this uh, golden opportunity. I want to take this opportunity, Mr. Speaker, to thank the Almighty God for giving you this opportunity. Mr. Speaker, I come from the farthest corner of this nation, Turkana County. Uh, Mr. Speaker, in this uh, county, there are so many great extreme challenges, which I know, Mr. Speaker, with your confidence and the confidence we have in you, we know we will try our level best to make sure those challenges facing the northern part of Kenya will really be resolved. Mr. Speaker, I want also to take this opportunity to thank all the, uh, uh, all the senators who are elected in their respective places, um, areas, and counties. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I also thank the Deputy uh, Speaker, who is my friend, who have been with him for two terms in the National Assembly. And I want to assure him, because with the experience we had in the National Assembly, that we will support the Senate House so that we make sure it is supposed to be the upper house, not the lower house. Mr. Speaker, as I finish, I trust you and the people who represent, I represent trust you also. Mr. Speaker, I know this Senate is just like a polling station, one polling station with uh, 69 members. And to you to handle a polling station, it is very easy, Mr. Speaker. As our senators, maybe as senators for me, uh, I I take care of uh, over 300 polling stations. So, Mr. Speaker, I have confidence in you that, Mr. Speaker, you will take care, welfare of these senators as, as you take care of this uh, welfare of these senators. We, we will be sure and we will be, have confidence that the community we represent, or the citizens we represent, will automatically be taken care when their senators are taken care. Mr. Speaker, I want to congratulate you and uh, pray God to give you enough grace and wisdom to represent and to support this house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mandago. Mr. Speaker, let me first take this opportunity to congratulate you and your able deputy for your election as the Speaker of this Honorable House, and two, to congratulate my fellow Senators who have been elected to serve in this House. And Mr. Speaker, having served with you um, in the Council of Governors for two terms, I want to say I'm one of the Honorable Senators who is happy that um, we have members in this House, Mr. Speaker, 
who were in the other house and now acknowledge uh, that this is a upper house and that indeed they erred in passing legislations that undermine devolution. I'm happy the wheel of devolution has rotated 360. We now have honorable members who have been members of the National Assembly. We have people who have been in the cabinet. We have people who have become governors. We have people who are MCAs. And we have a speaker who has he himself done 360 in terms of administration from parliament, cabinet, governor, and now the speaker of the Senate. Mr. Speaker, we have a golden opportunity as the senators of this country to truly make devolution work by utilizing the capital we have in the goodwill of President William Ruto to support devolution. Thank you very much and congratulations, Mr. Speaker. Senator Mutinda. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I want to take this opportunity to highly congratulate you uh, this afternoon. Being a nominated senator is a first journey. And the process that I've seen today, I'm very delighted to be part of it for the changes that we want to make in this country. Uh, to the deputy speaker, also my neighbor on the other side, congratulations. And this is an indication of the wonderful leadership that Kenya Kwanzaa is going to offer. Peaceful proceedings, teamwork in this nation. And I believe through these processes, we are going to deliver and we are going to serve Kenyans. God bless you. Senator Nyandarwa. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. And uh, first and foremost, allow me to congratulate you for your well-deserved win. I am not sure whether they told you from where you are that I was your agent in that election. So most likely I'll see you after, after the sitting. And I also want to uh, thank the clerk for conducting the morning session very well. Uh, honorable Speaker, today is a big day, as my colleagues have mentioned. And uh, I've, uh, I've just been told by Senator Murkomen that you've also made uh, history as the, only, uh, the first speaker to be elected on the first round. Congratulations. And it tells you the direction the people of Kenya have taken because they are speaking through their own representatives. They want a united Kenya. They want us to move forward. Our senior the Senator for Kakamega mentioned that uh, we had very many reasons to vote for you. And I also had very many reasons to vote for you. One is because you campaigned very well. Number two is because I, I believe you are the best candidate. Number three is because uh, uh, my senior Senator Murkomen has always uh, reminded me of uh, royalty, faithfulness, and fidelity. Those are the three things that he has always reminded me about and I've not forgotten. And uh, uh, number four, I have also had an opportunity to know you in the past. I joined the university. By the way, we have a history that is almost uh, you know, close to each other. That is why I also voted for you. You became a member of parliament for Makarini at 32 years. I am coming in as a senator for Nyandaro at 31 years. You understand the challenges that uh, young parliamentarians uh, face, and you should be able to address them because uh, you have been there. I joined uh, Pony University in 2013, and uh, then you are a governor for Kilifi, and I was running to be uh, a member of the Pony University Student Council. But I come from a very, very, very small village called Karoboivi, and a very humble background, I didn't have anything to, to, to push me there. I came to your office, I asked you to help me. You didn't know me, and you helped me. I was asking for posters. You gave me posters, and even more than, uh, than the posters. My mother is there, Janet Wanjiro, and she knows that you paid for our fees for, for the remaining part of the, of, of the term. Thank you very much. Uh, you, I was reminding you the other day that uh, when you came to ask for my vote, I was telling you that it is, it is my time to now pay back. You didn't, know me, you didn't know me then, so I need not to know you now. I only needed to vote for you. And uh, finally, uh, uh, Honorable uh, Speaker, I would also wish to, uh, uh, to talk to my colleagues who just left this morning. Uh, it is not uh, that they were elected by their people to walk out of uh, the chambers of uh, parliament. They, they are supposed to be here to come and express themselves. 
walking out is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is, is disdain to the people that elected them uh, to come here. You are elected to come to the Senate, and then you leave the Senate. Uh, a big purpose of why you ran, you ran for office. You'd have rather asked uh, the others to come and uh, represent their counties. Finally, Honorable uh, Speaker, uh, allow me to also, I am coming also from my lower house. I have been uh, a big and a small man at the County Assembly of Nyandarwa. I was working as the personal secretary to the Speaker of the County Assembly of Nyandarwa, who is in the Speaker's gallery, James Degawa Home. He gave me an opportunity to serve in his office. So, uh, you not even have deficiency in your office. I have all the experience that you need from a personal secretary. I'll be able to help. Thank you very much, and uh, congratulations from my own self and from the people of Nyandarwa. Thank you, Senator Veronica Mina. Mr. Speaker, sir, let me first this, uh, take this opportunity to congratulate you on your election as a speaker. I believe this is a great moment for Kenya. We have gotten the best speaker we could have gotten in the Senate House today because we had all the CVs and we had a look at those CVs and I can affirm and endorse you as the right speaker for this Senate House. This Senate House has a heavy responsibility towards the whole nation of Kenya. It has the oversight role over the devolution funds and, and the county governments. We are looking forward to a moment when we can optimize the use of the county funds, all the devolved funds that are sent to the counties, not just for one county, but for the 47 counties. Because the only way to realize the bottom-up economic model in this nation of Kenya, through the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition government, is through proper optimization of the devolved funds to the counties. I believe you have the capacity to do that, to lead that oversight role, and to ensure that Kenyans will not be disappointed with your tenure. Mr. Speaker, sir, regarding the inclusion of women within the leadership of this house, we know that you will also oversight to ensure that all the special interest groups that have been represented in this house will feel that they are part of Senate and will feel that they are part of the leadership of Senate, both at the PSC and also at the committee level of this house. So let me not take too much time, but let me take this opportunity to wish you God's blessings I know you have the capacity. I have practiced law with you in Mombasa for many years, and I knew you as a sharp advocate who was brilliant and able to perform his tasks on time, and I know this Senate will do what needs to be done to deliver the mandate under the Constitution. God bless you. Senator Mungatana. Uh, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, I want to join my other colleagues who have expressed their congratulations to you uh, from Tana River County, where we are also neighbors with where you come from in Kilifi County. We want to give our congratulations to you. Mr. Speaker, quickly I want to speak to two issues. We celebrate you that you are from the coast. And previous speakers have said, you are the best choice. So it's not just about regional balance, but what the Senate is saying is that there are competent people from those far off areas, from those areas that hitherto were not recognized. Mr. Speaker, you've made history on behalf of all of us. And we believe the country is watching the new down that Kenya Kwanzaa is bringing to this nation. My plea, before I leave this floor, Mr. Speaker, is that what Senate has communicated to the nation should be replicated in the formation of the arm of government called the executive, so that we have people, talented people, from far off areas occupying key positions in this new government. Mr. Speaker, I believe that you will deliver. I have no doubt. 
As I take my seat, Mr. Speaker, I want to speak to yet another issue that was raised by my colleague Omutata. Mr. Speaker, when we are talking about the newfound dawn of cooperation between the two houses, the Senate and our colleagues in the National Assembly, in the constitution of the PSC, let us not go back to what was there before. Currently, uh, this term which is coming to an end, they had the chairman and the deputy chairman, both of them coming from the same house of the National Assembly. And yet we are there, yet we are colleagues. Mr. Speaker, in this newfound cooperation spirit between the National Assembly and the Senate, we know that by law they will take the chair let the deputy come from this house, Mr. Speaker. And with those few remarks, I congratulate you. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Senator Chiriot. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, congratulations on your election together with your deputy, my good friend, uh, Senator Kaduri. Mr. Speaker, people have spoken of very good reasons, uh, very serious reasons why they voted for you. Uh, I also did for various uh, serious reasons, but also for unserious ones as well. One of the unserious reasons why I voted for you is that while we are told there were seven candidates, you are the only one actually who was gracious enough to ask me for my vote, and that's how you, uh, you got it. Uh, I congratulate you. I know you're a man of uh, great honor and distinction. I celebrate your achievement today because I know you have traveled uh, a long journey, uh, both in your personal life and professionally uh, as an advocate. I had time to uh, go through your curriculum vitae that you shared with us, and I realized that Senate indeed has got a man worthy of honor and what, uh, deserving of the prize that you have secured for yourself and the people that uh, support you. Mr. Speaker, I know uh, that quickly uh, we will dust off uh, from the campaign mood know that uh, elections and the honeymoon is now over. We have a lot of work that is ahead of us. As a Senate, we must be, remember uh, our uh, primary call and our duty as a House. I want to assure you, Mr. Speaker, that much as we celebrate, much as we hear of the good vibes uh, about cooperation between both Houses of par Parliament, I will quickly warn you that it's not the first time that we have heard of such stories before. So much as we are hopeful, we will remain to be vigilant. If at any time, there might be anybody who wants to threaten the course of devolution and reverse the gains that we have made as a country, you will be called upon to duty, Mr. Speaker. In fact, I will quickly uh, add, Mr. Speaker, that sometimes there will be difficult in days when that chair will be extremely hot. I assure you that as your senators and as members who serve with you in this House, we will stand by you if you do the right thing, Mr. Speaker, and if you protect and stand uh, with uh, devolution. I say the same to our good friend, your deputy, uh, Senator uh, Senator Murungi, who has done also well, uh, served in the lower house for two terms, and has now joined us in this house, uh, Mr. Speaker. I believe he will serve uh, this house and yourself as a good and able deputy, and together we shall be able to move uh, the country and our uh, counties uh, forward. So I celebrate you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I wish you well. I know we will uh, work together. Just to make a comment, uh, because I've had members speak uh, of a composition of the Parliamentary Service Commission. Up to uh, this particular point, I still serve, because much as a previous um, parliament came to a lapse, uh, as commissioners in the Parliamentary Service Commission, our term ends when uh, a new one is inaugurated. I would wish to add my voice of approval to the motion that has been introduced by our colleague, uh, Senator Okio Mtata, that indeed it is true, and Senate, unlike in the pre uh, previous two parliaments, deserves to have four slots, just our colleagues in the National Assembly. Much as the chair is appointed con uh, by, by, by edits of the Constitution, on many occasions, and I say this from, with a lot of, uh, with tremendous respect to uh, the immediate uh, former chair, uh, former speaker of the National Assembly, that on many occasions when issues are placed before Parliamentary Service Commission, on 99% of the time, despite being the chair of both uh, one unitary Parliamentary Service Commission, you will find them voting with the National Assembly. Therefore, I agree with my colleagues who continue to demand that that being the case, then you better be even in terms of uh, the numbers of representation in, uh, in that commission so that you have four members from the Senate and four uh, from the National Assembly so that when you get that particular 
uh, opportunity, I believe we shall uh, take uh, that chance, uh, uh, Mr. Speaker. Finally, Mr. Speaker, uh, I must make a comment also about democracy. You know, the edicts of democracy are, are such that the, major, the minority have their say, but majority must be allowed to have their way. It's unfortunate, Mr. Speaker, that in this country we have people who have set a culture of never accepting any ele electoral process and the results. When they see that their numbers are not adding up, then they must find a way to murky and muddy the process. If it's not demanding for servers to be open, it's in walkouts in Parliament. That is a culture that we need to banish and be honorable people. Speak, make your vote. If you're defeated, accept with grace. We want to see for once that people shall compete and after the competition, you will shake the hands of the winner and say, you did better than me this time, I wish you well. It's a culture that is badly wanting in our politics, Mr. Speaker, and I hope we can have it soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Senator Mrango of Kirinyaga. Asante sana mheshimiwa speaker kwa kunipa hii nafasi ya kusimama mbele yako na suti yangu ya majano. Mheshimiwa speaker ukiniruhusu kwa niamba ya watu wote wa Kirinyaga ningetaka nikupongeze kwa kuchaguliwa leo kama senator kama um, speaker wa, sen, wa senate. Pia ningependa kumpongeza ndugu yangu Kadhuri na maseneta wote ambao waliochaguliwa kuwa seneta katika bunge hili la kitaifa mengi sitaongea mengi sana kwa leo kwa sababu hotuba tutafanya maalum tutapewa nafasi na kama venye waswahili wanasema kuku mgeni akosi kamba mguuni ningeomba nafasi nikae na suti yangu ya majano nitaongea siku hiyo ikifika asante sana mheshimiwa speaker thank you the senator for kiambu Senators after the Senator of Kembu will take the very last um, um, Senator before uh, Senator for Kembu, the Senator that almost never be, but by grace of God and courtesy of about 579,000 votes of Kembu people, I'm here and I thank God. I take this opportunity to thank you and your deputy for being elected to the leadership of this house. I have no doubt that you'll meet the expectations of this house and that of our country, Kenya. Mr. Speaker, before you came, I would want to uh, loop in our clerk and thank him in the process because actually you're here because of his Solomonic uh, decisions that he made uh, to make sure that this house uh, goes on. I don't know whether I call it Solomonic or Chebukatic because he followed the law, the way the law is supposed to be followed. So I thank you, uh, clerk of the uh, Senate. Mr. Speaker, this house will go down in history as a house that has so many first bonds of devolution. And by saying that, I mean the MCAs, former MCAs, because I believe we are not less than five former MCAs, because I'm a former MCA uh, between the year 2013 and 2017 in Kiambu County. Again, you sitting there as our speaker, having come from uh, the seat of a governor, that means this house has all its corners from the side of executive and from the side of legislation at the local level were represented in this house. And if this house never performs, I don't think any other will ever perform better than what we are going to do within this period. Mr. Speaker, as I conclude, if I was asked, although nobody is asking, uh, having come from the background of an MCA, and having said that this house is going to deliver to the people of Kenya because we understand what devolution is, because we started with it. Uh, in future, 
maybe we should be uh, giving um, those who come from the village, the first timers, an opportunity to be the first one to speak at the Senate. Because, Mr. Speaker, if you follow the tradition and the ranks that has been there, we will find out that the new people will never be able to speak because we have to wait for those who have been there to speak. So I urge probably if it needs to um, amend the starting orders, maybe we can do that. Or you can give us a day where those who are new will be given uh, priority when it comes to representing the people. I thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And as you go on to become uh, 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 our speaker and as you go on leading this house, always remember to use the Chebukatic pronouncements. Follow the law, because if you follow the law, it will always vindicate you. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Senator Murgo. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, for having your eye on the other end of Kenya, from your end to the other end. So I congratulate you for being elected Speaker of this House and a Deputy. Um, and also I congratulate my colleagues for being elected uh, Senators um, to be in this House together. Um, I also uh, thank God for the opportunity uh, to have you as my speaker uh, because uh, you um, rubbed me nicely in two ways. One is the fact that you have served as a governor in a county that is same as mine, maybe marginalized and uh, kind of not developed as compared to the others. And therefore, when I talk about West Pokot and those uh, uh, regions like that, um, I have a speaker that understands uh, where I come from. And then secondly um, is the fact that uh, you, you come from um, and has, have, have served a marginalized area uh, such as West Pokot in education, development, and, and so forth, so that uh, when we talk about um, devolution that uh, should uh, reach out to uh, areas such as uh, Kilifi, West Pokot, and the others, uh, you um, feel with us and you uh, understand us. And then um, finally, uh, my point is also about um, the level of the house, upper house and lower house. We were tasked uh, in the 10th parliament when I was a commissioner uh, to go all over the world and um, uh, see uh, what is the position of an upper house and so on. So we went to America, we went to Germany and many other places and so I hope that in your time as a speaker and uh, your uh, counterpart, uh, brother in the other house, uh, you will bring uh, this house to a level that it will uh, be in its position and place as the upper house. Thank you very much and God bless you. Thank you. Um, Senator of Muranga. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to congratulate you and your deputy on being elected uh, today. In fact, you got 100% because the, cast, the votes cast were 46, and you got all of them. So congratulations. Uh, like uh, my other colleagues have said, I also had my reasons for voting for you, and perhaps the most compelling was that you served as a cabinet minister, not just as a cabinet minister, but appointed by one very strict uh, president, the late Mwai Kibaki. He could not have gone wrong. And that for me uh, convinced me that this was the best speaker that we could have. Uh, number two, 
uh, because Senate is, uh, I mean, the major business of the Senate is maybe to oversee and look at devolution. Having practiced devolution as a governor for 10 years, I knew that we could not have gone wrong in electing you. And so, congratulations once again. And I knew that the supremacy battles that have been there between this house and the National Assembly under your watch and guidance are because you have also promised that you are going to work with your other colleague on the other side. We know that devolution will be a winner in the whole of it. So congratulations, and like uh, my colleague from Kiambu has said, uh, please be considering us uh, a new entrant so that we can also try and maybe hone our skills in uh, debates. Otherwise, thank you very much. Congratulations, dear deputy. We look for better days ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Wamatinga of Nyeri. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mine is also to congratulate you for being elected to the position of the Speaker of the Senate, together with your able deputy. Mine, I would also say, I had various reasons for voting for you. One of them is the fact that you got into leadership at a very tender age. Someone nurtured you. Someone believed in you. My challenge to the House, Mr. Speaker, sir, is that we also nurture the young ones so that when we are out of politics, their people be there to take after us. Mr. Speaker, sir, I would also want to take this opportunity to say this is an election of firsts. One, you being from the coast region, you being from a governor, you understand best devolution, and I know that you will be standing for the senators because you understand what it takes to be a senator because you've been a governor. Lastly, I would want also to echo the same sentiments of the newcomers. Kindly consider us. We might be new in the house, but we have brilliant ideas. Having come from diverse fields, we have a lot that we can offer in this house. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, sir. Senator Sigeo Bomet. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I rise to first congratulate you on your election. It is a confirmation of the confidence that the members of this house had in you. Having to get 100%, as my colleague has said, is a confirmation of the confidence that they had in you. And for the Deputy Speaker, the confidence that all of us had, we were not required to go to the ballot. I congratulate you. And from your background, I am very sure that devolution and this house will be properly managed. We will legislate. This is a house of legislation. We will do under your guidance that which is right, that which is proper, and devolution will thrive. I congratulate you, and I congratulate the rest of my colleagues also who are in this house today. Going forward, I would want to echo the sentiments of the newcomers in the house. We will strive to do the best in order to also support you in the course of building and protecting devolution and doing the best for the people of Kenya through the government of the Kenya Kwanzaa Coalition. I thank you, Speaker, and congratulations once more. Thank you. Senator Seki of Kajiado. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Speaker, sir, I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you for being uh, appointed as the Speaker of the Senate together with the Deputy uh, Speaker. On behalf of the people of Kajedo and myself, I want really to appreciate and thank God for this enormous uh, election that has taken place this, uh, this morning or this afternoon. And I want to say that being a very experienced uh, uh, leader of this country, after looking into your CV and going through the CV that has been uh, found to be almost, you've been in every 
uh, area or even every position in this country. We really believe in you, and we believe that you're going to make a very big impact to this house. And I want to say that, God willing, we are looking forward to see you um, taking note to all these uh, points that you have taken up this afternoon together with my colleagues, and more importantly, the issue of the oversight fund, which we really need to go down to see what is happening in the counties, because it's part of what we really want uh, to see performance in our counties. So thank you so much. I really want to appreciate you and appreciate the entire uh, house. And I can also see that soon we will have a very strong uh, opposition, and I want to tell them to, to, be, uh, uh, to be ready, because we are going to drive this country well. Thank you so much. Senator Alan of France, Zoya County. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, on behalf of uh, Transoya County, I just want to uh, say congratulations to you and your deputy, and also on behalf of the youth of this country. Um, I also want to thank uh, uh, the Transoya uh, people for electing me, because where I come from, it is believed that the Senate is for old people. So it is just my humble opportunity to thank them for giving me this opportunity to represent them. And uh, me being a young leader, and actually one of the, uh, it is one of the youngest in the house, I want to believe uh, in your wisdom of uh, uh, leading the house to, uh, 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 to uh, representing us, uh, to representing us, and I want to assure you that uh, you will have uh, our support. And I uh, just want to say, we have play, we have pledged the allegiance, and we thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Senator Raphael. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, to whom much is given, much is expected. I believe you are in that it's today courtesy of what my colleagues have said. Uh, more specifically to echo Senator Lanson Mungatana, that sisi wapwani tunafurai kwamba leo mpwani mwenzetu wameka katika kiti cha enzi pale. Lakini Senator Mungatana amesema, one major qualifying factor is that uh, competence is what has sold. And it is competence that has made you sit on that seat today. Mimi leo hii naraa kwamba kijana kutoka kwale, kijana kutoka ganze, kutoka magarini anaweza kuwa katika serikali hii na kuweza kuwa katika kiti ambacho anaweza kufanya maamuzi ma, ma ambayo ni ya mageuzi <coughs> moving forward on behalf of the youth of this great nation i wish to congratulate you and the deputy speaker i look forward to engaging more with you and my colleagues i've noticed the house is full of uh, people of diverse uh, skills diverse competencies diverse interest areas and I believe this is a Senate that Kenyans have always been yearning for. Asante sana, God bless you, and God bless this particular house. Senator Raphael, I allowed you to continue speaking because it's your maiden uh, speech, but uh, we do not speak, uh, we actually don't mix languages. So if you choose to speak in Swahili, you go all out in Swahili. If you choose English, you speak in English. But for today, you'll get away with that. Uh, lastly, let me allow my deputy to make a speech. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker, for giving me this uh, opportunity to give my uh, Minden speech as a deputy speaker of this house, and also to give my acceptance speech. speech. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want first to really congratulate you on your election as the, our speaker of this uh, noble house. And uh, Mr. Speaker, your election and my election, actually we have won uh, in first round. Actually, it's like we won um, Anidan because 
of the all of the 46 ballots that were cast, all the 46 came to your side. And therefore, both of us, it seems, we were erected and opposed. And uh, Mr. Speaker, this is a challenge to us because when you are, when you are elected to Wyoming, people have a lot of expectations in you. That trust they have in us, we must really work for them. And I know your competence, Mr. Speaker. Personally, uh, I will really support you to learn the affairs of this house. My loyalty to you will be undivided so that we can deliver to these honorable senators. I want to thank uh, the senators, all these senators in the House for really uh, voting for me. I knew even if uh, we went to the votes, they were lended to elect me as the undeputy speaker. So even though they did not cast their vote, I really want to thank them for really having uh, that trust in me uh, as the undeputy speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, there is one person who I really I feel indebted to, the party leader of our coalition, the president of this republic. You know, the trust that the party leader has on me, at least to give me an opportunity to serve this house, Mr. Speaker. I come from a region which actually maybe I'm the first uh, speaker, deputy speaker, since uh, creation. And I really want to thank the president for giving us that opportunity as Meru community. So on behalf of the Meru community, I want to really thank him for giving us that opportunity to serve in this house. Of course, this is a, the, the third arm of government, to serve in his government. Mr. Speaker, I have a family which has really been with me for the last three days, playing for me, many supporters, many friends. Some are also in this town, just coming to see whether we'll be able to get this opportunity. So I really want to thank them also for that opportunity, including my wife, who is actually on the, the left side of this house, the, the public in gallery. I really want to, to thank Janet Kaduri for that uh, support that you have given me since I started my journey, political journey in 2013. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I want to confirm and to really tell this house that I will be committed to the vote that I took this afternoon. And through you and the office of the crack, we will be able to serve this house in diligently. As Honorable Senator Mwanda Gataya mentioned, I'm one person who is, uh, people say I'm humble, maybe, because I cannot praise myself. And I can see my character traits and yours are almost similar. So members should be very confident that we'll be able to serve them with a lot of humility because they are, they are our bosses, actually. We are your servants. We'll be able to serve you without actually taking signs. And also I want to really sympathize with the, our brothers and to tell them from today, let us work together to deliver to Kenyans. Maybe the voting was not, could not go their way, but maybe from the next time you call us back to this house, let us work together on both sides, let us work seamlessly so that we can be able to support our people. Mr. Speaker, I don't want to talk much today because you get other opportunities, but let me assure you that uh, I, will be, I will be loyal to you so that you can be able to deliver these, uh, to, to, to these uh, honorable senators. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker, and uh, may God bless you as you serve this house for the next five years. Uh, thank you very much. Honorable Senators, we have come to the conclusion of business appearing on today's order paper. Standing order number 241 provides that the president shall address the opening of each newly elected parliament. Consequently, the date of the opening of parliament shall be determined after consultations between the two speakers of parliament and the presidency. There being no other business, the Senate now stands adjourned until such date as shall be notified as the date set for the opening of Parliament. I thank you. We may now proceed for the reception accompanied by your guests and relatives.